Hello, welcome to C++ Advanced. One of C++'s uh, critical feature is operator overload. It can exploit people's intuition and reduce their learning curve for new libraries. Assignment operator is one of the operators that's frequently being overloaded. In this session, we're going to talk about one pitfall in implementing assignment operator, which is self-assignment. This is an example of self-assignment. You may ask, will people really do stupid things like this? No, they will not. But they may very well do things like this. And this is a self-assignment when I and J are equal. That is why we need to handle self-assignment appropriately in our assignment operator. Now let's look at an example. We have a class dog, and dog wears collars. So this dog has a data member p collar, which is a pointer to a collar class. And the dog's assignment operator will copy everything from the right-hand side dog to itself. And in our case, the main thing to copy over is the p collar. The natural implementation of that is I'll first delete my own p collar and then I copy constructor a p new p collar from the right hand side dog's p collar. However, there's a problem with this implementation. The problem arises when this dog and right hand side dog are the same dog. In other words, this is a self assignment. If that is the case, when I delete p collar, I'm also deleting a p collar of the right hand side dog. Then when I copy constructor collar from the right hand side p collar, I'm accessing an object that is deleted. And the result could be disastrous. So what's our solution? One simple solution is we can do a check if this dog equal to the right hand side dog then we simply return this now we are in a much better situation the copy the deleting and the copy constructing only happens when this dog and right hand side dog are not the same dog however there's still a problem with this code. What happens if the copy constructor of the right hand side dog's p collar throws an exception? In that case, the dog has deleted its own p collar, but it failed to create a new p collar. So the dog ends up holding a pointer that's pointing to an invalid object. This is a big problem if the dog's client later on wants to use the dog more. And even nobody is using the dog anymore. When the dog is destructed, the dog's destructor may want to try to delete the p collar again. And the result is undefined. So it seems what we really want to do is delete p collar only after a new p collar is created successfully. And to achieve that purpose, I need to um, create a copy of original p collar. And then I create a new p collar. If that is successful, I'll delete the original p collar. Now we are safe. Even if the new operator throws an exception, the dog still holding a, a pointer that points to a valid collar. So this gives you a small demo of writing exception safe code. Now let's look at our solution 2. Solution 2 basically delegates the assignment operation to the collar class 
So I simply call p color equal to right hand side p color. It will either do a member by member copying of the color class or invoke the color class's overloaded assignment operator. One thing to note is I don't necessarily need to check if this dog and the right hand side dog are the same dog. If they are the same, I will make a copy of itself anyway. This may incur some runtime cost, but since it doesn't cause any serious trouble, I don't want to worry about the runtime cost now until later my profiler tells me that this is important. Besides, the if statement is not for free. It will also incur some runtime cost. So removing the if statement will more or less compensate the cost of the self-assignment. That's all for today's class. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.